This from James's Park, the scene of celebration. A Champions League place assured. The team that was staring down the barrel of relegation not that long ago will now mix it with Europe's elite to the delight of their legends, to the delight of almost everybody here at St James's Park tonight. Leicester, though, with plenty to take from the occasion as well. They could have been condemned this weekend, but they are still in there fighting for Premier League survival. But it's all about Newcastle achieving their goal. They will play in the Champions League next season after a match which finished here. Newcastle United nil, Leicester City nil. What an extraordinary story. Eddie Howe celebrates. They were second from bottom in the Premier League when he walked through the door at St James's Park. And next season, they will be in the Champions League for only the third time in Newcastle's history. It means now that only Manchester United can be dislodged by Liverpool. And remember, they just need one point from their two remaining games, both at home, to Chelsea and for Fulham. So that was the result Newcastle wanted and needed. The result for Leicester, the point, leaves them in the bottom three. It nudges them up to 31 points, leads below them on goal difference. It doesn't mean it's in their own hands, their fate on the final day. What it does mean, because of the goal difference though, if Leicester can win their final game, that's at home to West Ham, it means Everton have to win theirs at home to Bournemouth. So either way, those three teams, we're going to have two of them going with Southampton on Sunday and there's going to be drama. But this is the picture book moment the owners dreamt of when they walked through the door. Eddie Howe's job was to keep them in the Premier League and he's taken them into the Champions League. It's Newcastle's first European campaign alone next season for 10 years and their first in the Champions League for 20 years. David Ginla, you know what it's like up there. Put that achievement into context for all Geordies for us. It is a great achievement. Uh, you know, all through the season, you know, this is the result tonight. Is It is probably one of those nights that everything could have been wrong right to the end. And then you, you draw, you could have scored three or four goals and it's just nil-nil at the end and uh, you qualify for next year Champions League. That was the, the aim, that, that was the target. Not from the beginning of the season, obviously, but uh, when you think about uh, uh, the Mercato, uh, the second part of the season, I think they have been consistent all through the season. And I think this is the, this is the reward of the hard work, of the, the right thinking of Eddie Howe, uh, how to set up a team who could compete at the top level. And uh, this is for the, the sake and the, the benefit of all the fans, because they know that next year they're going to see great European teams playing at St James Park as well. Uh, so I think, you know, for the staff, for the players, for the fans, great achievement from Newcastle United. Yep, you both know what it's like to play there. Nobody has left the stadium. This is one of those I was there nights for Newcastle fans in recent times. Well, it's been a rarity, hasn't it? Success up in, uh, up in Newcastle in, in recent times has been quite rare, so this is a monumental achievement from this team, from this squad, from this club. Nobody would have said Newcastle United for the Champions League at the start of the season. Europe, maybe, could they squeeze into seventh or sixth? That would have been a fantastic season. But how about that? I mean, up to third in the league, guaranteed Champions League, they got to a cup final as well. It's been a brilliant season for Eddie Howe and his, his team and it can only leave Newcastle fans hoping, expecting, dreaming of something even bigger next season. What a fantastic season it's been. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.